All right, I'm back. Well, we ready to get this shit started? So you may recall, last time... We made our way to the, uh, to the dragon, dragon Lord's lair. And now we're ready to explore it. Okay, so... I do want to see what my attack power is like. 196... 213... And 233. Okay. Oh shit, you know what? You could probably return right here. Uh, Rimmelar. We got all of our seeds in our inventory, and we are ready to at least give it a try. We decided that we were going to go ahead and fight Dark Zoma, somebody that I've never beat before. Here's the thing, though. His defense power is insane. It's up there. It's 350. So, when we get there, we're going to be about the level that uh, that we want to be at to fight Light Zoma. We're going to need a lot of that for this last fight. God damn it. Okay. Now when we get to a certain point, I do want to make sure that I got one open spot in my inventory. Bitch. Nice. Oh, of course it's a Granite Titan. Alright. See you soon, Willow. No, you know what? Rudo, take out the Goopy. Ow! Thankfully, our experience yield is quite high. Wyverns. Could you not? Wait, does that get weaker with uh, with low health? Rudo, can you time those a little better? And of course they suddenly attack.
No. Seriously? I don't get two crits per, uh, per fight. I say as I get two crits per fight. That one may have actually been well placed. I might actually have to retreat. You know, you know what? Willow, why don't you go ahead and heal? If I have to retreat, I want to retreat with a very specific item. And it's an item that we get in this dungeon. Rudo, I think you know what I'm talking about. But I also need an open inventory spot, uh, inventory spot in order to get it. I understand I have all my seeds, but the thing of it is, I want to use, uh, I only want to use those right before we meet Zoma. And of course they suddenly mount an attack. Ow! Are you fucking serious? And they're just gonna spam that, aren't they? I don't have heal us yet. Shit. We just lost Willow. And they call for help, too? Oh my god. That was just a random encounter. Alright, where's the House of Healing? Is it right there? I think it's right there. I need the House of Healing. House of Healing, I think. Yes. 12.30. I understand I have Vivify with Cecil. But this is just faster. And we still have enough, uh, enough money to rest.
bright side, we might actually gain a level before we get there. If that's what we're dealing with. Really, Mia? have my leaf of the world tree I think so when we get to the dungeon proper we're at least in halfway decent shape strength you need a lot of it god damn it I actually think Mia is going to be helping heal. If that's going to be her level up. You know, Ruta at least has a higher than average crit rate. Cecil just hits really hard. We do need Willow to get up to level 36, though. Agility Seed. I kinda wanted that. But I don't have anything that I really want to give up. Oh, oh, I don't have my leaf of the world tree. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Rudo, you can one-shot those without a crit. Why don't you do that? A well placed crit. Distances. Okay. Oh, you got a 70% fire resistance. You got no crack, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fireball.
Of course. Okay, Willow. Get your mana back. Oh, wow, that actually healed for a lot. Well, they didn't get to jump on us this time. Shit, I didn't want to increase, I wanted buy kill. Cecil. Die, bitch. Well, we're at least back to where we were monetarily. again. Eh, it's not breaking. That's actually uh, that's actually a bonus. It means we can use it longer, which means we can uh, we can use her magic more. We're going to need it. And a troll king. Oh, you got Limbo. Okay, so those Troll Kings really aren't that strong. Hydra. Oh, took it off guard. Good. Or not. That works too. Strength of 13. Okay, so what's your attack power now? 209. Wait, what's your attack power in comparison to Mia? 216. Okay, so it's not that much... Uh, it's not that much weaker. Target Rudo. Oh wow. Back by kill no increase. Cecil can one shot those. What's his standard attack power? 233. 
So there's actually not much difference between Rudo and Cecil. I actually forgot how to trigger these fights. There we go. Cecil, that was stupid. Got some healing, and uh, and still beat him. Okay. There we go. Way to go, Cecil. You actually waited. Shield of Strength. No, it's... Yeah, it's Cecil. Um, you go ahead and... Heal more Cecil. Encounter rate is so insane, we don't even have a step before a, a new encounter. Of course that bike kill turns out to be worthless. Willow learned a new spell. Invisible? Okay. 
Now we have what we need to move on. Uh, probably heal Mia. Okay, so that wizard's ring is actually lasting a while. Die, bitch. Okay, they actually give a fair amount of experience for how weak they are. Okay, now we need Step Guard. If you've ever played um, Dragon Warrior 1, you know where the secret entrance is. Get your mana back. Still lasting a good while. Okay. Now this room she looks pretty complex. You know, all these diamonds? It's actually one of the easiest rooms in the entire game. Watch. All you gotta do is press up. Oh. Uh, yeah, apparently I pressed another button. Try that again with less failure. Lion Roar. What are these guys capable of? Either way, just to be safe. Okay, let's try this again. If you start at that diamond, all you gotta do is is hold up, and I forgot to start my recording again, but all you gotta do is hold up, and you get through that room.
die, bitches. Okay, that's all the healing we needed. Still sticking around. Archmage. Oh, wow, that is a lot of experience. Health up nine. Okay. Those two take out the sword or the sword droid. Swordoid? The fuck is a swordoid? This way. Wait a second. Stupid. Well, you think maybe I can attack a little faster so we can get by kill off? Six thousand. Health of 14. Okay. Yeah, let's heal Mia as well. At this point with Willow's magic, we're no, we're playing with house money. 
In fact, we're actually almost to where we want to be. That one item that I want, we still don't, ha don't have an open space. We actually got a boss fight coming up. I don't think it's here yet? Eh, it's pretty close. I love being able to spam by kill. This is where we want to go. Why is there a bridge here? No, attack that one. Well, that actually worked. I mean, again, right now we're playing with house money because of all the wizard rings we have. Now, if they're going to take this long to uh, disintegrate, that's actually good for us. Sort of. We're actually, we might actually have to get rid of... Why? Ortega. Wait. You mean Daddykins who died in a volcano? Okay, so why don't we jump in and help? We know that's Ortega. Aha. Uh -huh. Gonna waste your mana like that, huh? Okay, this fight's taking a while.
Do you have buy kill? Meanwhile, we're just st now we're just st standing back doing absolutely nothing. I'm beginning to think those attacks do get weaker the less health they have. Does he just not have enough money for uh, uh for heal all? Or enough mana? Daddy Kins didn't drop anything. So yeah, that's kind of on both of us. Ortega for not using heal all and us for just standing around doing absolutely nothing. where we want to be. Okay, so which one is which? This one? Which means I do need to get rid of something. Rudo, use a strength seed. Three! That works! Wizard ring. Mia, use a strength seed. Stone of life. We could get rid of that. Seriously? We can't throw it away? One of these is the Sage's Stone. Okay, there's Leaf of the World Tree. Really didn't want to use these here. Sage of Stone! That's what I was looking for! It's not exactly on the right person, though. But, ideally, one of these Sage of Stones should crumble. Which means we can then put it on the person that we want it to go to. I say it as we enter the final room of the game. Hi, Zoma. Oh, you're the person that killed Daddykins! You're gonna die! I'm gonna kill you so good! Well, that didn't last real fucking long!
Baramas Bomas. Exploit and a defensive juggernaut. Die, bitch! Oh, you get two at Oh, crap. Okay. No, not item. Do these things just not crumble? There he is. Bear must go on us. Absolutely no defense. Or agility. I think this guy's agility is literally zero. Okay, Rudo leveled up. That might help. Strength one. Problem is, Willow isn't where we want her to be. Go fuck yourself with a fucking loaf of bread! And it's blocked again! Oh. It'd help if I had the right sound clip. <laughs> Wow, this thing just did not disintegrate. Okay, so who has the, the Sage of Stone? Cecil. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so... 213. 223. No. Two thirty-eight. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Mia. Get rid of that. Didn't want to, but I have to. Okay, now transfer all your strength seeds to Cecil. I know some would uh, would reset if you got a one, but at this point, it's all about getting that extra oomph. Okay, plus five. <laughs> plus six. Plus 
Plus seven. Okay, not terrible. Because you gotta realize we are going to buy kill him. Which means he's gonna have an attack power of effectively 490. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna make a save state. So this guy has a defense of 350. And we're not using the, um... Uh, the light orb on him. Oh, and by the way, I should also bring up, this guy attacks twice per turn and has, a, uh, has an ice wave that eliminates all of our buffs. Okay, so who has a Sage of Stone? Not Rudo. Kind of a problem. No. Mia? And I should also mention that in this form, he has immunity to sap. And every single element in the game. We're gonna need a lot of that. He also restores about 100 health per turn. No, um... Heal more Willow. We just lost Willow. There it is. Yeah, this did not go well. So, that blizzard breath is insane. A hundred damage. To Willow. Okay, so we're actually going to need to lead with speed up. Not want bounce. I did not want bounce. Um... 
You'll all Willow. And Willow, don't use Bounce. Ruda, that was stupid. I kill Ludo. Okay, that worked. Why does that one do so much? And I find it really funny how he gets it off killing Ludo right as I'm about to buff him. His attack power isn't going up. <laughs> or at least his crit damage isn't going up. And of course we lose Willow. I don't know if I can beat this guy.
Once again, he fucking kills Rudo right before I'm about to buff him. Attack power is 500. I can beat this guy. Again! Watch this, he's gonna kill Rudo again. Oh, maybe not. No, Cecil. Heal all. We need to do about about a hundred damage per turn to this guy. Oh shit! You know what? Yeah, we need you to use the Sage of Stone. I am in no condition to, uh, to fight this guy. I don't think I'm anywhere close to being able to, to, uh, to beat, uh, to beat, uh, uh, to beat Zoma, Dark Zoma.
Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> really? Alright. Got an attack power of 500, a defense power of 350. <coughs> What's that, Jill? 255. Which is the maximum. I'm actually beginning to think 255 is also the maximum attack power. Sort of. Because even after buy kill, Ruta wasn't doing any additional damage with his crit. I'm actually thinking about putting Mia up front so she can absorb uh, absorb the hits and maybe deal some damage with the with this blade armor because I am nowhere near being able to take this guy on Riddle, what the fuck was that? Well, he becomes far more manageable if we use the light orb. And the funny thing is, very first turn, we actually do about a fifth of his health and damage uh, with that Rudo crit. Really? The strongest attacker misses? That would have actually been a kill shot. You couldn't fucking do that against a metal babble? Fucking worthless sack of shit! Bright said we at least got the Sage of Stone. So we really do need Willow to learn heal us. Three new spells. Okay, one of them was open. Heal us! Perfect! So now she has AoE heals.
Oh, who the fuck was that? Yeah, it's gonna start raining here soon. If I'm being completely honest, I might need about five more levels before I'm ready to fight Dark Zoma. Sounds like it's actually going to start coming down. Wow, vitality up eight? Heal us all. Party-wide full heal. Time to try this again. No. Pilgrim. Well, that's pretty much all you're good for anymore. Heal us. Thank you. 
Oh, we're looking at a, almost 10 million experience to reach level cap. <laughs> It's sticking around. Now you got one. That's the important one. problem is, with us using our seeds, we don't get that extra boost. It's gonna check our stats on level up. means really all these levels are for is health and mana I did give him all to Cecil. Decide what I'm gonna do with the Sage of Stone. Now that we have heal us and heal us all, it just I was going to say just hold up. Do you miss? A regular shot would have been a kill shot.
This wizard's ring is lasting a very long time. Those things give 2,000 experience per. That's actually really good. What the fuck was that? Oh, you're using bounce. Whoa. get to a floor that has a boatload of experience and then and then call it a day. Ow. Ow. Really? Well, Rudo doesn't get experience. Alright, Willow. Don't take too long. Hey, first try. Figure out what's going on uh, with the wizard's ring. I mean, this one's lasting a very long time. I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Normally, they uh, they uh, disappear by now.
Well, he at least gained a level. Agility up six and no strength. Willow goes up a level. And she learns a spell. Bedragon! If she's fast enough and a meta babble hangs around, they die! Let's go ahead and show it off. Dragon. Ow! Dragon is they literally turn into a dragon and all of their attacks are full damage. Kind of makes me wish I had a second sage. That way we could actually do, uh, uh, gain some ground on him. to decide whether or not to actually get the Sword of Destruction, which uh, which we can find in Rimolar. That's a very strong attack power, but here's the thing. It does have a 25% chance of inflicting a one-turn paralysis. Although now that we have heal us, we at least have AoE healing to go up against his blizzard attacks. Although if he uses it twice, doesn't matter where we are, we are fucked. It 
doesn't seem to like uh, using his standard attack either. his abilities a lot. I'll do it. about it. I might only need Mia and Cecil to heal. Because Cecil does have um, Heal Us All. The only problem is mana consumption. Because Heal Us All is the, is the single most expensive spell in the game. After all that, he's still gaining strength. He's at 255. Strength and agility, mind you. against Zoma! I'm 
under the circumstances, I actually am considering... Because I I'm actually determined to beat Dark Zoma. I really am. I'm actually considering the sort of destruction for... Uh, for Mia. damage to him, too. Sure, you wait until the very end when I actually want fights for... Uh, for... Uh, a halfway decent encounter rate. I should also bring up that heal us all costs 62 mana. So we can only use it twice. Considering this sort of destruction. And she still didn't get a kill.
get more of those, they actually get some pretty good experience. And they're actually not that difficult to take out. Well, unless they do that. level. And by the way, uh, there are some people suggesting that your level be 45 before going up against Zoma. Now, I should bring up that that's probably a good level for us going up against Shrouded Zoma, but against uh, against uh, Zoma without the um, without the uh, Sphere of Light, that's actually really high. In fact, where we are right now is about where you need to be before going up against uh, against Zoma. This guy really isn't that tough. It's just we're taking it the extremely difficult route.
matches. Okay, so we really don't want to level up. I mean, really don't want to level up. Ludo's almost, uh, almost there. So about 7k more and Ruta levels up to thir uh, to uh, 39. Now I'm just gonna be honest, I might actually need to get everybody up to about 350 health before ready to take on Zoma. almost there. Also almost there, about 10,000 away. Yourself. Ruto, what the fuck was that? 
Can't be having that against Zoma. Good God! What was that, Rudo? Transform! Because of course. doesn't help us much. What Transform does is it gives her the abilities of, uh, of uh, another party member. Really doesn't help us that much. Especially considering she's probably our only healer. Well, no. We do have Sage of Stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Mia up to... Mm, 58.5. About 10,000 more. if we could find something to fight. I mean, Rudo, that level was so pathetic that the only benefit out of it is better crit rate. And not by much. Stop doing that. I mean, Rudo didn't even get any health that level. Poorly placed crit there, uh, Rudo. So Mia should be just a couple of fights away from 39. Well, uh, except for this fight. This should get her up there. Oh, crap! These guys have the breath attack! And we're attacking different targets because reasons. Okay, one down. Yeah. <sighs> 
So... Cecil, where are you at? 67. Oh! You're 5,000 away from 41! I did not want to do that. Bruno, what the fuck was that? Wait, what? Do these guys just have an insane, uh, insane, um, evasion? God. Rudo, you worthless sack of shit. most inopportune time. Thank you! About time the fucker died. For good. Strength up five. Still not enough, though. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Oh wait, that one only lasted one! Uh, 
Okay. Up to thirty-eight. Need seventy. But that is for next time. I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing some uh, off-screen grinding because wow. Anyway, it is here that I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. But before we go, Doesn't really look like there's much going on. So, I will see you all tomorrow, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, for more Super Mega Baseball 3, and hopefully, the end of Dragon Quest 3. I mean, let me rephrase that. It will be the end of Dragon Quest 3. If I have to go get the Ball of Light, I'm going to go get the fucking Ball of Light. I don't want to. I want to beat Dark Zoma for the first time ever. But if I have to, then I have to. Thank y'all for joining me. Y'all take care. <laughs>